Hey there, welcome to Jones of the Travel. I'm Aaron. Today we're up on the roof of the DRV toy hauler and we're going to install Easy Starts for Micro Air Easy Start in our air conditioners. Now we have three air conditioners. I've already installed two of these. So I'm going to bring you along as I install the Micro Air on the third one. It's relatively simple, but there are a few tips I want to point out. Okay, before we get started, uh, let's take a look at what comes with the Micro Air Easy Start uh, in the box. Kind of hiding here um, underneath the solar panel because it's windy, so excuse the wind. This is an installation kit. Um, this is actually extra, so when you order your Micro Air Easy Start, make sure you order an installation kit. What it does give you that's pretty cool is the double-sided tape. Uh, gives you a little grommet for the hole where the wires come through and I'll show you that here in a minute and It gives you some butt connectors and this little extension wire. It does give you an alcohol pad so that you can wipe Both the back of the easy start and the, the wall where you're going to mount it inside the air conditioner So clean you can clean it with that for the sticky tape. So that's kind of cool I do recommend uh, getting the insulation kit. It's it's cheap and it does make it a little easier it Also gives you zip ties so you can make everything nice and neat inside the box um, is some troubleshooting a guide this doesn't really tell you how to install it per se um, there are a handful of different air conditioners and you're going to uh, need to look up the instructions for your particular unit the Dometics are all pretty similar microware has a really good library on their website with the knowledge bank right here and the wiring diagram so and they're really good I've looked at pretty much all of them and uh, they're they're really good you'll see here it has a learning process after you get it installed you're gonna want to start the air conditioner let it run for 30 seconds shut it off and you're gonna do that five times they recommend you do it when you're plugged in like at an RV park but if you have to do it uh, on your generator you can uh, but this uh, allows the easy start to learn the start of your uh, air conditioner's motor and it kind of trains it so it's a very important step this is actually the longest part of the install in my opinion <laughs> is five minutes between starts the easy starts actually gonna wait four to five minutes between each start so it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to run through this process but um, we'll go through that at the very end so now we're down to the easy start we get it out of the box here it's wrapped in um, bubble wrap so it's packaged fairly well so here's the easy start and uh, it's already got a wire harness on it uh, you've got uh, four wires to connect you have a couple of components inside the air conditioner that you can uh, disconnect uh, basically um, this kind of takes the place of the start capacitor so we're going to disconnect that and i'll show you um, on my specific unit how it's done like i said there are a couple differences between the different dometic units and there are a couple others besides Dometic out there, so just make sure you get the correct wiring diagram. We have the Dometic, um, I think these might also be called Penguin 2s. We have two of them that have heat pumps in them and one of them that doesn't, but that doesn't really matter. The fact that it's a heat pump is kind of irrelevant uh, for the easy start. I've got this turned off. I've also got the breaker in the breaker box turned off because you want to make sure that you've got power cut to this. Uh, this could get dangerous. The, the capacitors have high voltage in them so you want to make sure that you've got everything shut off and disconnected uh, i do have some water on the roof here that's just from uh the air conditioner was running earlier <laughs> so it's got a little condensation but we're going to go ahead and remove this cover and then uh, get get busy installing this Next, we're going to access this box. You'll see the shock warnings here. So like I said, be very careful. If you don't feel confident in doing this yourself, please hire a professional. We're going to take off this cover. It actually doesn't come off because of this foam. I don't want to disturb that. So we're just going to take out two screws and hinge it up. On this particular unit, I'm going to mount the easy start right here and run the wire through where this wire is running through and then run it over and run it into this box and then make our connections from there. OK, 
Okay, here's the alcohol wipe that I was talking about earlier. Lay the trash in there. And I like to just go on the back in a couple spots. And then we're gonna clean this. Because this is where we're gonna mount the, the easy start. You know, it's a good idea once a year or so to come up here and take these covers off and inspect your unit. Now this is the double-sided tape. Um, we're gonna stick on here like this. This comes with the installation kit, which is pretty cool. And then we're just gonna peel the double face off. And stick it on this wall. There we go. So before I do that, I'm actually gonna pull these wires through. I'm gonna run these wires under like this and through this hole over out through the other side. These have some connectors already mounted on them, so sometimes you have to run them through one at a time to get the connector to fit. But you should be able to push it past this sealant. There we go. Do the yellow and the orange. They have the connectors on them. Excuse me if my hand's in the way. And then we're gonna do the brown and the black. Just like that. And pull this all the way through. Stick that back down there, kind of seal it back. Okay. This I'm gonna stick on the wall, just like that. You don't have to do this, but for good measure, I like to put I like to put four screws in. But on this one, uh, because it's hard to reach down here, I'm just going to put two at the top. Just make sure that whatever's on the other side, you're not going to uh, puncture. Um, this has a cooling unit over here, and there's enough space for these short screws. These do not come in a kit, so you'll have to supply these on your own. And this is plastic, so be very careful. Just like that. It doesn't have to be tight or anything crazy. You just have to make sure that you're not injuring anything on the other side. There we go, okay. That's about all there is to installing it. Now, as we go, I'll, I'll zip tie up this wire and uh, we'll zip tie up the other wires. Okay, let's get this cover off. You can see here what I meant. It's kind of kind of encapsulated by this foam. So we're gonna leave it all connected and just run our wires through here. This grommet right here, we're gonna pull out and we're gonna replace with a little plastic ring that came with the kit. Just squeeze on it and it should pop out just like that. And we're gonna discard this. Same thing here. Sometimes it helps to run the uh, the bigger connectors in, connectors connectors in first. White, orange. Also, be careful with this sharp metal. It could cut your fingers. Okay, kind of like that. Now. When we're all done, we're gonna put this little plastic ring on, but for now, I'm just gonna fix these wires. I tend to do this a little out of order from the instructions, um, but the first thing you're gonna do is take this extension wire, clip the end off, uh, because uh, we're gonna wire it in instead of clipping it, strip some off the end, and this is where these connectors in the kit come in handy. We're going to pair that with this other black wire that comes off the easy start. Kind of like this. And we're going to crimp it. With these crimps. These come in the kit. Check and make sure.
sure they're tight and we're gonna run this black wire that came in the kit back through the hole because we're gonna connect it to the blue wire on this other side okay kind of like that okay so this is the wire I just passed through we're gonna strip it and then it's gonna connect to this blue wire so what I'm gonna do is get some relief on this blue wire And then this is going to be spliced, so we're going to cut the blue wire. We're going to strip it. And we're going to splice it together like this. And we're going to splice in this black wire. Same thing, we're gonna put a crimp connector on. Make sure your crimps are good and tight. There we go. Okay, we'll zip tie all this up and make it nice. Okay, so that takes care of the black wire. So now we're gonna take this red wire that runs down to this we're going to disconnect this because we don't need it anymore so we're going to take it out so this is a called a PCTR PTCR and we don't need it anymore so we're removing it completely so we're going to take the white wire out um, I leave the I'm going to leave the component in um, down under here so we find the right wire yeah, that one so we're gonna take this out and then the white wire that came off of there we're gonna take it off too just like this okay now we're gonna connect our orange wire to the same terminal group as this red wire and what I'll do sometimes is take this red wire and move it back here to get it out of my way like that and then I can snake the orange wire under get it turned around and get it plugged in just like that okay so there's our orange wire done our white wire is going to go on the white wire group right here um, it's already got a terminal but first we have to trace the white wire coming off of the compressor so it comes off the compressor here this white wire falls around and comes out right here so we're going to remove this white wire off the compressor like that we're going to replace it with the new white wire right here turn it around and plug it into where the other one came off just like that then we're going to splice the brown wire and the white wire together so we're going to dike off the end we're going to strip it that and we're going to connect it to the brown wire just like that with another butt connector again make sure your crimps are tight a little tug test to make sure okay and that folks is all there is to it now as I said before Keep in mind, different air conditioners, different models are different, so you wanna make sure you follow the specific instructions and wiring diagram for your specific unit. Next step, I'm gonna do some zip ties to get some of this cleaned up. I'm gonna kinda of put one here just to uh, kinda of get these wires tamed a little bit. Kinda of like that. Doesn't take much, just kinda of make it pretty. Clean it up. Okay, this is the plastic grommet that I was talking about earlier that we're gonna put here. It comes with a split in it. So all you have to do is kind of feed the wires into the split, make sure it's pointing the right direction. So you want these little clips to go into the hole in the metal. And um, we'll go ahead and feed all these wires into here. Get them in this clip. The uh, 
the grommet that we took out isn't big enough with these extra wires so that's why we have to change that with this one but you want to protect these wires you don't want them to get cut by that sharp metal edge because it will it will cut wire and it will uh, make troubleshooting difficult sometimes when you have a bad wire it's really hard to kind of hard to find um, so do yourself a favor and make sure you don't forget this step and make sure you get every single wire uh, the more wires you have the harder it is to get them all in here but it'll work and this should just snap in to this hole just like that Okay, and give you a better shot, just like that. Wires are protected. Now we can put the cover back on. Okay, our foam is still good. I tore it a little there, but it'll be okay. I just like to kind of put these together so nothing's rubbing. Kind of cleaned up and put this blue wire back up here just to make sure nothing's going to interfere the shaft right here turns so we want to make sure that none of our wires can interfere with that we'll do one more here just for good measure it may not be necessary but um, kind of keep things policed up and kind of get it off of that get it off of that copper tube it's gonna probably relax back but that's okay there we go the next step is to go downstairs to the thermostat and we'll train this one okay so we're back down inside the coach and our thermostats located here and you can see I have zone one off that zone one is the main air conditioner that I just installed the soft start on now we got to turn the breaker back on. You see here AC1 I have off. So we got that back on. And then we're going to go mode cool. Let's lower this to like 60. And then when it comes on, I'm going to set a timer on my phone for 30 seconds. And when that 30 seconds elapses, then I'll turn it off. And we'll do that five times. Now keep in mind, when you turn it back on, it's going to take four or five minutes for the Micro Air Easy Start to actually turn the air conditioner on. So don't panic if you turn it on and it doesn't immediately come on. Just give it four or five minutes, sit and wait. Once it kicks on, start your timer for 30 seconds. When you hit 30 seconds, come back over, turn it off. Once it shuts off, turn it back on, wait four or five minutes, do that five times. So we're still waiting for this one to come on and we wait. Okay, it's running. We'll give it 30 seconds and we'll shut it off. Okay, let's go back over, shut it off. Oops, one more, off. I will just wait for it to shut off. And it just shut off. Let's go back to cool. Now it's gonna take four or five minutes for it to turn back on because of the easy start. Okay, that's number five. So we've run through five start cycles. I'm gonna leave it running. I'm gonna go up on the roof, just do another overview look, make sure I didn't miss anything, put the cover back on, and then we're done. Okay, everything looks good. Performing like it should, so put the cover on. Well, there you have it. That's about all there is to it. Pretty straightforward install. A couple pointers. Make sure you get the wiring diagram for your specific unit um, off the uh, MicroAir website and follow those instructions uh, specifically and it should get you there. Now, if you're not confident in working on these or installing one of these yourself, please let me know. If I'm in your area, I'd be happy to come install it for you. But that's about all I have for you today. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave comments, questions below. I really appreciate the feedback. 
And until next time, safe travels. Bye.